happen the screenshot is on the phone image so that's what i'm trying to do right now hi guys welcome to my channel it's in this video i'm going to show you how you can create blur backgrounds with images and also how you can place images inside a mobile phone using canva so guys let's start so i'm going to start with choosing a site for the canva which i will be selecting youtube thumbnail for this tutorial so here we have youtube thumbnail i'm selecting that right now and then i'm going to click on the plus sign to select images different images that i'm going to be using the first image i'm going to use is a canva um, desktop view and that is going to be my background so i'm just going to try and adjust it to fit into the canvas size of the youtube thumbnail right now so that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to adjust it to fit in um and i think i am i'm almost there yes about right now it's done and it fits the way i want it to fit so the next thing i'm going to go is i'm going to click on flip filters and i'll go to advanced filters navigate myself down to blur and then adjust the blur the way i want so i'm going to try and adjust it to about 35 so i'm selecting yes i'm adjusting it to 35 and that will be the blur level i'm going to be using for this tutorial it's so easy to create to create um, blur on Canva, which I'm, I'm I've already done right now. You can see that the blur is like really done. I don't really need to do any other. So right now I'm trying to create to place an image inside a phone. So that's like I said, my tutorial is based on creating a blur background with image and also placing a a. A, an image inside a phone so that's what I'm trying to do right now and there is a difference between having a blur background and a, and a transparent image or a blur image and a transparent image so right now I'm just going to show you how transparent is and how it's different from um, a blur background or a blur image so right now i'm just going to search for the phone that i'm going to be using i'll just go to image and then search for the phone i'm with i will be using for this tutorial I'm selecting the first one and adjusting adjusting the size to fit exactly how i want it to fit so this is the same thing you should be doing so please okay so why you adjust it to fit adjust it to fit the size of the screen the way you want it if you don't want it to fit into the screen size you might as well just adjust it to fit just about what you want the reason I'm using this phone, my phone screenshot is quite large, so I have to try as much as possible to adjust the screenshots I made with my phone to fit into that um, image of the phone that we have there. So you just have to, what you just have to do is just adjust it to fit in, and that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, I pinch down my screen and drag out to to zoom 
out the page so I can see very well how fitted the image is on the screenshot is on the phone image so that's what I'm trying to do right now I'm trying to adjust the size to fit in so it looks like the image is actually showing on the phone so yes I'm done with that and I think yes that's all I have to do with creating a blur background and also placing an image inside uh, a phone the other thing I'm trying to do right now is just um, adding a bit text to make my thumbnail looks a bit attractive not just as plain as it is right now so I'm just going to add a bit um, some text I'm trying to select a color to that looks really befitting for the rectangle and you can see I adjust the transparency a bit and I'm adjusting it to just sit where I wanted to sit so I'm just going to add some text to make it look like really nice that's all so guys this is the end of the video i am done with the design so if this is your first time trying to get familiar with canva you might want to check out my how to use canva mobile to create designs my other previous post on that you might want to check that out and if this is your first time please don't forget to subscribe yes please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up share with me if there is anything you want me to improve on or if there is any tutorial you want me to um, do please share in the comment section i will be reading and i'll be replying thank you guys bye